The Crazy Talk 5 models can now be edited with a new face profile style. Face profile styles provide you with nine new styles to apply to your character's facial profile. For animals, you can use the long snout and adjust the strength to get the perfect snout depth inside your new animal characters. For cartoon style, manga, or anime, you can choose the comic style, which we can puppet and see how that works. For more human facial features, you can select the human style, and then again, puppet the face in real time with your mouse to see the effect. The Crazy Talk 5 script window holds many powerful new features, one of which is the motion clip. Motion clips are a full library of automated, predefined animations that you can quickly add to the timeline, giving you access to instant facial expression sequences, head movement, eye, shoulder, and even special effects for your character performance. You can select multiple different templates to add to the timeline. Some even feature special effects. To make one of the animations longer, simply click and drag the end of the animation and then pull it. To edit a motion clip, it's easy. Just go ahead and right click on the motion clip and then select ungroup. Now you have the ability to edit any of the assets that are collected inside the motion clip. After you've edited some of the assets, you can regroup the motion clip and create your own motion clip. First of all, define the area that you would like to recreate and then right click on the motion track. Select add clip. The clip now is available to be clicked and dragged on the timeline or even elongated as we showed before. It's also been added to our custom motion clip library. Motion clip editing makes it easy to create your own custom facial expressions, defining the attitude for your character. The edit key feature will allow you to edit a single keyframe from the timeline. Select the keyframe and then use the edit key button to open up the new active face posing window. This face posing window will allow you to select features and then click and drag to edit the character's facial expression in real time. You can toggle on and off facial features to have different results. Control head movement from this window as well to repose the head movement for any keyframe. Crazy Talk 5 also includes a camera with the new tools, allowing you to even zoom in on your character. Crazy Talk 5 introduces two new features for special effects. The first is the swap track found at the bottom of the timeline. This allows you to add a second layer of special effects to any project, and then also swap it between foreground and background. We'll add some hearts to the scene. Notice that the hearts will play behind the character's head. This is accomplished because we've applied a mask to the CTM model of the character. I'll switch it to the foreground using the black and white button in the timeline track, at the bottom, and then you can see how it looks from the foreground. And then back to the background. To add captions or even comic effects to any Crazy Talk project, you can use the new text bubble feature. Click in one of the special effects timeline tracks and then click on the new section for text SFX. This opens up a dialog box that features many different types of text bubbles. Choose one that's appropriate for the screen. Successfully access the tools to produce fully and then once selected, you can go to the Modify section to actually type the text that you would like to appear. Once you've got your text added, then you can go to Select a Color using the eyedropper tool for your text. And then increase or decrease the text size. Notice that the text bubble is actually in the background of our image. We'll bring it to the foreground using the swap feature. Now you can play your text to see it in your project. To bring it to the foreground, simply use the SFX swap button again to select. To edit any text added to the timeline, simply double click on the SFX slider bar and that will bring up the modify panel so that you can modify the text on demand. 
Crazy Talk 5 gives you full facial control with real-time puppeteering. Now, as you create your character's facial animation, you can affect it in real-time using the puppeteering panel. Either use full facial control to control full facial expressions, or use singular facial feature control, allowing you to focus on a single facial feature like the jawbone. The puppeting happens in real time with your mouse, so as your character performance is happening through the audio, you can follow along with the puppeting panel and easily create your own custom expressions in real time. The character panel offers animation in full facial control or solo feature control. To select one of the full facial controls, select it here by selecting a puppet profile and then one of the controls. Then you can turn it on by selecting the preview option and hitting your spacebar. Once you've done that, you can automatically start previewing your character's animation inside the preview window while you move your mouse. Use hotkeys Q through Y on the top line of your keyboard to actively switch between different facial presets. You can puppet those on the fly, making it really easy for you to be able to create custom animation while you're recording. To record animation, you begin by selecting the area on the timeline you want to begin recording. Once you have your marker set on the timeline, go ahead and select the facial profile you'd like to begin with, or set up the individual facial features that you would like to record. You can also record head movement and even the animated camera in this section. With that selected, you're ready to record. Select the record button and then, with record armed, all you have to do is press your spacebar to begin recording. While your audio is playing, your puppeting will be recorded in real time. And you can edit these or go back and multi-layer another recording over the top of this. Use your hotkeys to switch in real time to change the facial expression that you're puppeting. When you're done recording a segment, hit the space bar. This will end the recording and create a motion clip and place it on the timeline. To repeat the process and layer on new motion clip layered effects, continue to do so by selecting the record button again and then record again. Every time you record, a new motion clip will be added.